Hey, what's up guys? It's Lawrence. Thanks for stopping by my channel. If you like what you see, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks. Observing obscure observances, looking at the calendar for May 12th. Here we have, uh, let's see, International Awareness Day, also known as International Awareness Day for Chronic Immunological and Neurological Diseases, focuses on raising awareness for illnesses including myalgic and self- Wow, this is a long one. Including myalgic and self- encephalomyalgic. What? Myalgic? Okay, there's that. Encephi- What? Okay, E-N-C-E-P-H-A-L-O- M Y E L I T I S. How the heck do I pronounce that one? Encephalo Encephalomyelitis? Wow. Encephalum it's encephalum Oh jeez. Encephalum what? Encephalomyalgic encephalomyelitis? Oh my gosh, that's a mouthful. Chronic fatigue syndrome. There we go. Fib fibromyalgia. Okay. Chronic fatigue syndrome. Fi wait, 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 wait. This is going too fast. Myalgic encephalomyelitis. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm very sorry to any medical professionals who are watching this and are probably screaming at their computers that I'm mispronouncing it. That's known as ME. Then there's chronic fatigue syndrome. And that Philb, uh, Philbert, 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 Oh, fibber, fibber, fibromyalgia, fibromyalgia, Ugh. okay, folks, I have no intention to be in the medical field in this, at this stage of the game, Gulf War Syndrome and Multiple Chemical Sensitivity, MCS, these illnesses, okay, here we go. These illnesses result in symptoms such as chronic muscle and joint pain, poor stamina, cognitive problems, and others. I go back here because I jumped to... Uh, oh, boy. Cognitive problems and others. The day takes place on the anniversary of the birth of Florence Nightingale, an English Army nurse who helped inspire the founding of the International Red Cross, who also was bedridden for much of the last 50 years of her life as she suffered in what might have been uh, chronic fatigue syndrome. There we go. Tom Hennessy, the founder of Rescind Inc. Wait, wait. Tom Hennessy, the fa wait, wait, wait. To Tom Hennessy, the founder of Rescind. R E S C I N D, Incorporated, and that stands. Okay. Rescind Incorporated, repeal existing stereotypes about chronic immunological... Oh, God, there's that word again. Uh, repeal existing stereotypes about chronic immunological and neurological diseases came up with the idea for the day and thought that it should have an international focus. In general, many of the medic... Wait, 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 wait. Uh. In general, many in the medical establishment don't know a lot about these medical issues, and it is up to those affected by the illnesses to raise awareness about them. The day has been grassroots in nature, being undertaken by individuals and organizations, but at the top it is organized by Action Signed, a Canadian charity. Activities have ranged from wearing a t-shirt of the day to creating a large gathering with public speakers. Can't do it this year. In recent years, international light up the night challenges have had the goal to get people light up public spaces and private. Wait, wait, wait. Goal of getting people to light up as many buildings, both public spaces and homes, as they can. Blue is symbolized CFS. Purple for uh, FM fibromyalgia. Fib fibula myalgia. If I'm saying that right, fibula. Wait, wait, fibula myalgia. Am I saying that right? I don't know. And green for MCS or lime, lime color. I guess. Okay. Ooh. That was a mouthful. 
And that should tell you right there why I do not belong in the medical field at all. Oh, and here's the thing right here. International, okay, yeah. International Chronic Fatigue Syndrome Awareness Day. And it is also known as International Myalgic Encephalomyelitis. That damn word again. That damn long word again that I can't pronounce. International Nurses Day. Annually on May 12th. I did not know that Nurses Day was May 12th. I always thought like Nurses Week was the first Monday in May, starting off that week. Lag Bomber, also known as Lag Bomber, Lag Bomber in Scommer, Scholars Day. Okay, here we go. All right, where is it at? Uh, all right, hang on. Okay, taking place between Passover and Shavuot. Shav Shavuot? Shavuot? Am I saying that right? Shavuot? I should know how to say this stuff, but uh, uh, I don't know. Taking place between Passover and Shavuot, Lag Bomber, also known as Lag Bomber or Biomer. What? Lag Bomber, also known as Lag Bomber or Lag Biomer, is also is, oh my goodness, boom, is a Jewish holiday celebrated on the 18th day of the, e wait, 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 the 18th, wait, 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 this is a uh, Jewish holiday celebrated on the 18th day of the Hebrew month of Eir on the 33rd day of the counting of the Omer. Why, this is, while this is the name, while this is the name, while this is the name, why, Ah, while this is the name by which it is known by the Ashkenazi and the Hasidic Jews, it is called Lagma Ubra by Seredit. What? I have no idea what this one is all about. This is a lot of stuff to contend with. While this is the name by which it is an Ashkenazi, Ashkenazi? What is Ashkenazi? And Hasidic Jews, it is called Lag La Omer by Safari. Wait, 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 Safari? Wait, 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 Safari. Safari Jews. I don't know what the Safari Jews are. And it literally translates to... And the day mean... And the day literally mean... Means... 33rd in the Omer... The first, ah, 33rd day in the Omer. The day was first mentioned in writing in the 12th century. It was celebrated by rabbinical students in the Middle Ages. They called it Scholars Day and played outdoor sports to celebrate it. The previous days of the counting of the Omer are a period of mourning and spiritual growth, but the mourning is lifted on the 33rd day, and people celebrate with parties, parades, bonfires, weddings, music, picnics, barbecues, and other outings. Not this year. The celebratory festivals take place because Lag Bomber is a Hilya, a celebration marking the anniversary of a. Wait, 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 what? Hilya, a celebration marking the anniversary of a death for Rabbi Shimon Yar Bar. Shimon Bar Yachai? He was a. Mishnaic sage, great teacher of the Torah, and disciple of Rabbi Akiva. Bar Yachai died in the second century on the day that he revealed the secrets of the Kabbalah in the Zohar, an important text of Jewish mysticism. The day is a celebration of the great light and wisdom that Bar Yachai gave to the world. The day is also celebrated because it marks the anniversary of the day when the plane that killed Rabbi Akiva's 24,000 disciples Wait, 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 what? Marks the anniversary of the day with a plague that killed Rabbi Kaba Rabbi oh. Marks the anniversary that play Oh my gosh. Try it again. Oh boy. <clears throat> it marks the anniversary of the day when the plague that killed Rabbi Akiva's twenty-four thousand disciples ended. When the twenty-four thousand died, Akiva only had five students left, one of them being Shimon Bar Yachai. 
And that is the end of that one. I'm very sorry if I'm screwing up these words and mispronouncing it and probably triggering a lot of people who are watching this. But I'm just letting you know that some of these words are very hard to pronounce. I've never seen it, never seen it before. So you're just going to have to bear with me. All right. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. All right. Next one. Limerick Day. Ah, limericks. Those are fun. Five, five line poems. Oh, those are fun. Oh, okay. Here we go. Okay. I do know some limericks, but they're very dirty, and I'm not doing them on these. I'm not doing them on this channel. <laughs> I'm just letting you know. I, I I know a lot of dirty ones, so I'm 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 not I'm not doing it here. <laughs> so, uh, all right, here we go. Limerick Day celebrates both the Limerick poem and the birth of Edward Lear, who pop popular Limerick Day celebrates the Limerick poem and the birth of Edward Lear, who popularized the poem and was born on this day in 1812. It has been celebrated since at least 1987 and is marked by the reading and writing of limericks. Limericks are short, often humorous, or riddled poems. They consist of five lines. The first two lines rhyme with the last line, and the middle two rhyme with each other. This is an example of an Oberheim scheme. Named after, let's see, they were named, they're named after Limerick, Ireland. More specifically, the name comes from, from the chorus of the 18th century Irish soldiers' song, Will You Come Up to Limerick? The first limericks were written around 1820 and popularized by Edward Lear, starting with the release of his book of nonsense in 1846. He said he got the idea for the book from a nursery rhyme that began with, There was an old man with, from Tobago? Okay, an old man of Tobago. Limericks gained in popularity at the beginning of the 20th century, and limerick contests were created by organizations such as magazines at that time. Yeah, there you go. All right. What else do we got here? Okay. Uh, hold on. Oh, my God. National Phoebe. Oh, man. Well, there's no description. National Fibro Oh my National Fibro my 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 Adger all day. I don't know how to pronounce these medical terms. National Nutty Fudge Day. Mmm. Nutty Fudge. Odometer Day. I didn't know that existed. <laughs> Gotta roll back the odometer sometimes, folks. <laughs> And there's that great scene in Plain Trains and Automobiles where they get pulled over, and the guy says, Sir, do you know how fast you're going? And John Candy goes, No, sir, on account of our speedometer's melted. <laughs> I know that's a speedometer and an odometer thing, but still, it's all I can think of. Well, actually, not to the back. All I can think of now is that scene in Ferris Bueller's Day Off, where Cameron and Ferris are driving the car around, and Ferris is like, What the hell are we going to do, man? And Cameron's like, Don't worry, we'll just roll the odometer back. <laughs> Sex Differences in Health Awareness Day. No information on that one. And there's nothing left on this one other than I think, I think we should have a day honoring George Carlin. May 12th, I think, should be George Carlin Day. All right. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Lawrence Ross, and I will see you later. Bye-bye. Hey, guys, it's Lawrence. Well, that's the end of the video, but before I go, I want to thank you guys for checking out the content. If you'd like, you can check out my radio show every Friday evening at 7 p.m. on razradiolive.com. That's R-A-S, radiolive.com, radiochaos.net, and in this case, it's chaos with a K, K-A-O-S, radiochaos.net or nonamenetwork.net. It's called the LRWS, and check it out. We also have a store, teespring.com, T-E-E, spring.com, forward slash stores, forward slash LRWS. And if you want, you can check out my Patreon page, patreon.com, forward slash LRoss1987. Thanks for watching.